Hi, and welcome back to Dirt Bike Magazine's video series, The 19s, where we take you up close and personal with all the 2019 motocross models. As you can see behind me, we have the 2019 KTM 450 SXF. So we saw the orange frame last year, and lo and behold, we have a brand new 2019 KTM 450 SXF. If you've been living under a rock for the last six to eight months, this bike is almost identical to what KTM brought out in late December, early January, so that their factory riders can ride them in Supercross and Motocross. So it's an all new frame, all new engine, all new suspension specs, everything is brand new on this motorcycle. So if you want all those details and all those specs, click the link below in the description and it takes you straight to dirtbikemagazine.com. But that's enough chit chat, it's time to go ride this thing. So we just got done with the first day of testing on the 2019 KTM 450 SXF. We had multiple test riders to ride it today. And a couple things that stood out to us was this bike has power. We're used to KTMs having power, but this bike has power. Easy roll on. The two different maps that you can switch to on the fly are different. The number one map has more load right down low, right off the bat, and then might run out a little bit earlier. Whereas the second map, most of the test riders actually liked, it actually comes off on a little bit smoother and will pull longer through the power curve. One thing that every single test rider commented on was this frame has a lot more rigid characteristics than the last frame. You can feel the little chop and the little bumps on this frame and suspension setup to where we are gonna have to chase it around a little bit to make it plush for us or it could just be the characteristics of an air fork, but we're gonna definitely have to figure that out. And of course, there's those things that we know we like. The hydraulic clutch, the Brembo brakes are some of the strongest in the class, and the easy, no tools required access to the air box. But those are all things that we've just come to expect out of KTM. So this is our first day of testing on this machine. It's going to be very interesting this year in 450 Shootout to see where all these bikes line up because the KTM's really good, but all the Japanese manufacturers are drastically changed and improved for 2019. If you want to know what's going on in the motorcycle industry, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com and look for the full test in an upcoming issue of Dirt Bike Magazine.